Hello there. Hey guys, Josh Lloyd here. What to watch for for Tuesday in the NBA. One game less uh, because of the COVID postponement, but let's talk about the games that we do have on. The first one is the Heat and the 76ers. Actually, we don't know if this one's going to be played. Miami is dealing with a whole bunch of players out due to COVID protocols. It looks like they're going to have the nine or nine, eight or nine players ready to go. They need eight, of course. So it does look like they will uh, be ready to play, but there's going to be big minutes for guys like Precious Achua, who will likely get a starting spot with Bam Adebayo out. Um, he is going to have some real opportunities, as is Ty. Highly hero. So I want to see Achua in that extra role. I want to see guys like Max Struess and Chris Silver as well. Struess put up some big numbers in the preseason, and he's got an opportunity with these absences to put up some numbers, but it will likely be Achua and Alinek in the front court. With no Jimmy Butler, Hero is going to have a great opportunity. Again, we've seen him have some big games when Butler's been out, so a big chance for him. And for the Sixers, of course, no Tobias Harris, Shake Milton, Seth Curry, Matisse Thybul. So it's going to be a lot of Tyrese Maxey. It's going to be a lot of Isaiah Joe again. Dakota Matthias is in there. Will Joel Embiid play? Now, they got absolutely spanked on Monday, so I would imagine the limited minutes that Embiid played will get him in this back-to-back. That's not guaranteed, but... There is because they were just beaten so roundly and so easily by the Hawks. His minutes weren't that high. So there is a chance that Embiid will play. But Maxi, how Maxi plays in general is something I want to watch. I want to see if Isaiah Joe can get anything going. Next up, we've got the Nuggets and the Nets. Jamal Murray, his shooting hasn't been great, especially from the free throw line, not that elite level. So we want to see if that can get back to those levels. There's no Michael Porter Jr., of course. But what about Gary Harris? No. Gaz looks back, which is great. Three good games in a row from Harris. Can he continue to play at this level? Because that makes him yeah, in the realms of being a 12-team league player. Not a must-roster guy, but he's absolutely in that discussion. While for the Nets, there's no Kyrie Irving again. So Karis Levert will probably get another start at point guard. Can he continue to put up big numbers? And should be a pretty attractive sell-high guy. While Jeff Green started last game. My name is Jeff. Will he get another opportunity next to Kevin Durant? Will they go with Torian Prince? Green's not really doing anything from a fantasy perspective, but I imagine they'll go back to starting him once more with the absence of Irving. Next game, the Jazz and the Cavs. Uh, Boyan Bogdanovic, can he ever hit anything? He's been really rough, and I do think that he isn't the best um, option to be holding on to in a 12-team format, unfortunately. While Rudy Gobert... He's just killing your free throw percentage, absolutely destroying it, like at 50% instead of his usual 65, 66. And Gobert's one of those guys that every single season, oh, he's worked on his free throws. He's going to be a good free throw guy. He's going to be a 70s guy, and it just literally never happens. And the volume that he takes, and somehow he's gotten worse. Let's see if that can improve, but it's really rough at the moment. The Cavs, Colin Sexton was supposed to play on Monday. He was announced as a starter, and about a minute before the game started, they pulled him off. Giggity. They also took him out of the game, and they started uh, Damian Dotson. So, you know, is he going to play? We saw Yogi Ferrell, who was signed on a 10-day. Real seems real early for 10 days, but he was signed on a 10-day. Um, and he's got, got some minutes. But Dotson, with no Garland there, Dotson and Osman and Okoro playing a lot of those minutes as a starter. Will Sexton be back? You'd have to imagine there is some doubt after the incident today of him, you know, being ready and then not being ready. The Spurs and the Thunder. With no Derek White, no DeMar DeRozan, Lonnie Walker, who did have a hamstring cramp at the end of last game. He should be right to go, but we want to check on that, obviously, and see if he can replicate his production from that game against the Wolves. I have doubts, but let's see what he can do. While Paddy Mills has also been really rolling, and another great opportunity for Mills to put up numbers with DeRozan out. He's worth a stream for Tuesday. For the Thunder, they went with Isaiah Roby last game, ahead of Mike Muscala. Will they continue to do that? Roby's a very intriguing player to me in a backup role, so I'd like to see them do that. While, of course, everyone wants to see MC Hamadou Diallo. Who's put up two really strong games. Both of those are in New York, and there's a little bit of hometown, I'm going to try hard because I'm in my hometownness to it. Not saying that's all it is, but this is a real test. Back at home, can he continue shooting 75% from the field? The answer to that is obviously no, but can he keep contributing in other areas and looking like a really solid player, which he did in those two games in New York against the Nets and against the Knicks? Next up is the Lakers and the Rockets. There is no, uh, sorry, there's no Wes Matthews again. So Talon Horton Tucker is going to get another extended look at things, probably another 20 minute or so role. Um, he looked great last game. He hadn't been looking fantastic in every game, and the minutes aren't always going to be there for Horton Tucker. But this is an opportunity for him. While LeBron is once again listed as questionable. LeBron James. This could be another blowout. His numbers are a little bit disappointing at the moment, LeBron, which. 
I'm basing that on LeBron standards, but they're still you know, obviously really good. But is he going to play? I don't think he. I don't think there's any chance that he doesn't. But you know, will he be limited at all in a blowout for the Rockets? Harden. The usage is not great, so we want to check on that. Um, what's his you know, game looking like? Is he doing much of the hard and ISO stuff? Is he passing a lot? Because that's what he's doing at the moment. His assist rate is well up, but he's not doing much else. While Boogie Cousins, can we ever see him play next to Christian Wood? That would be good if we could see that develop, because that's what he needs to do to be able to provide 12-team value. It hasn't happened yet. That is exactly what we need to happen for, for the value to be there. Next up is the Pacers and the Warriors. It is a back-to-back. Victor Oladipo, not expected to play, but we want to check on that. If he is out, it should mean Aaron Holiday. Normally, it would mean TJ McConnell would get some extra minutes as well, but he's not likely to be there either. Uh, dealing, on dealing, He's celebrating the birth of his child, so he's not likely to be there. So does that mean Edmund Sumner comes in? Do they play you know, rookie Cassius Stanley at all? Their guard depth is taking a little bit of a hit, while Miles Turner, I always just want to watch Miles Turner because his block numbers have obviously been extreme and insane. This season, putting up some real, real big ones. Um, really excited to see him. For the Warriors, Blunty. How much is Wiseman going to play? Because he's been pretty poor um, in terms of minutes played and overall production. Will they ever extend him to 25 minutes in the near term? It doesn't feel like it. And we're always casting an eye on Kelly Oubre. Can he shoot at all ever again? Can he play more than 30 minutes? That's almost more key than playing or than being able to shoot although those two things are tied together pretty closely. Next up, where we look at... Which one's the next one? Um, oh, yeah, uh, stream targets. That's what we're looking at. So we're looking at Aaron Holiday. Trey Lyles is a, is a pretty good stream. There's my son just uh, popping his head into the stream. Uh, Aaron Holiday, Trey Lyles, Andre Iguodala, um, with all those heat injuries, Joe Ingles for the Jazz, although Ingles is questionable with a uh, with his Achilles issue, Precious Achua. You could throw in a guy like Max Struess in there as well. So they are some stream options that you can throw in for the games on Tuesday. More of that's going to come up because there will be other news and that sort of stuff, which we'll talk about on the pregame show tomorrow. But that is what where we're at at the moment for the games on Tuesday, guys. Hit subscribe, hit the bell. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I appreciate every one of you for doing that, everyone who does do that, and everyone who has been watching this channel. So make sure you do do that. And you never miss out on an episode, guys. We are done here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See ya.